everyone welcome back to our channel today i am going to show you guys how to suture a wound but before i do as a reminder i just want to let everyone know that as long as there is medical and dental care in this world and you're injured then you need to go see your doctor and get professional treatments i am not a doctor i'm not a nurse but i do enjoy learning valuable skills such as suturing the only time i would ever consider stitching myself or a loved one is if we were in a total grid down apocalyptic situation where there was no medical care. Um, the number one reason for going to a doctor, especially if you need stitches, is the comfort you'll get because they have access to the anesthetics such as lidocaine and marcaine. So they can numb you up and then you can be stitched while comfortable. Um, because if you don't have a medical license um, you can't just buy those anesthetics online you have to have you have to be a nurse or a doctor i mean you can buy numbing spray but i'm not sure how well that'll work stitching should actually be the last resort uh, you should only suture if you absolutely have to you should start with like the least invasive which would be like butterfly band-aids or steri strips glue such as dermabond some people i've heard use super glue uh, staple gun and then suturing so i purchased these on amazon they do sell suture kits for practice um, along with a tutorial video on the different types of sutures uh, so why not learn it so i bought a separate pack of assorted sutures and they have um, non-absorbable and absorbable. They have nylon, silk, uh, polypropylene, and Vicro. And this is their suture kit. It is by Nemco Medical. And when you open it, this is going to be our, our suture pad. It's covered right now. It comes with some stitches and a couple of blades and then here's our instruments so this is our curved clamp our uh, scissor needle holder blade holder and some ads and forceps so we're just going to use the needle holder and the scissors before we begin uh, last month we went to ohio uh, to vision preparedness bug out weekend and we met a guy there named wolf fang who brought his suture kit side note be sure to check out Vision Preparedness and Wolf Fang's YouTube channel. Great channels. And Wolf Fang was learning how to stitch. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I can show you. Um, because I've done it before, you know, but I haven't practiced like in a couple of years. So in my head, I thought, oh, I, I got this. Um, but when he brought out the suture kit, I actually had to like, sit there and think and try to remember how to like grab the stitch and it, i was just like oh all right i was a little more confident than i should have been because uh, I, I lost the the muscle memory and that's the last thing you want to do in an emergency is not remember how to do something or be slower at it especially if somebody's in pain so here we are a month later and I still haven't taken this out to practice, so I figured I would go ahead and try this. So the first thing you wanna do is prepare a sterile environment. You wanna make sure that the wound is clean, you irrigate it out, that way it's free of you know dirt and debris. Um, you're gonna to wanna to wear gloves because you're gonna be dealing with blood. If you don't have any anesthetic, like the lidocaine or marcaine, like I said, you can try numbing spray. I just not sure how well that's gonna work. Um, and make sure you have some gauze on hand, that way you can blot the area so you can have a, a clear sight of, of what you're doing. I'm going to do what's called a simple interrupted suture. Um, it's just one stitch at a time. It's like one of the easiest stitches for uh, beginners because there's many different kinds of, of suture techniques. You have like the figure eight, the mattress sutures, the continuous, uh, the buried sutures, um, but we're just going to go with the uh, simple interrupted suture for today. So just be sure to do your own research on which kind of sutures to use on different types of wounds. 
Um, there's lots of videos on that. So after you have created your sterile space and the wound is clean, uh, you're ready to stitch. So you're going to make sure you have gloves on because you're going to be dealing with blood. And since we're not dealing with blood today, I'm not wasting a pair of gloves. So we have our pad here with different types of wounds that we get to stitch together. We have our instruments that we're going to use and our stitch. Let's get started. Okay, so we have our stitch out. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it clearly, but when you hook the needle to the needle holder, you're going to want this smiley face up. Okay, you don't, you don't want it sad face. You want it smiley. So you're going to hold the sharp end of the suture and then when you connect the needle holder holder which is a clamp you're going to connect it to the end so it's smiley face up all right so we are going to work on this wound right here so hopefully you guys will be able to see this so i have my stitch ready and now we're just going to poke this through the skin not too deep and come out the other side. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull the whole stitch, leaving just a little bit on this side here. So you're gonna have a really long end right here and then a short end right here. And then we're gonna drop this stitch just like that. And then we're gonna kinda of grab it near the wound a little bit and then we're gonna wrap the long part of the stitch around the needle holder three times. One, two, three. And then we're just going to grab the shorter end and pull it through. And then it brings the wound together. Then we're going to repeat it, only we're going to tie it around the needle holder twice. One, two, grab the short end and then pull it through making sure that it's nice and secure and you don't want to tighten the wound so tight um, because you got to leave room for a little bit of swelling if you close the wound really tight it's going to break apart the stitches but again you don't want them too loose either so you just want some nice tension on that and then we're gonna do it one more time, but we're just gonna tie it just once around the needle holder and then pull through. So it's basically three, two, one. Okay, and now you can grab both ends. You can grab your scissor and then you're just gonna Cut a little bit. That way it has a little tail. Okay, and then you want to make sure that the knot is on the side of the wound and not on top of the wound. And then if you needed to do more stitches to close the wound, which this one obviously you would need a lot, you would just repeat the same process. You would just give it a little space and then you would continue. Some of you might have different techniques on suturing, uh, but this is how I learned. Uh, it's definitely a skill and you need to practice in order to get really good at it. So I hope you found this video educational. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.